Ladies and gentlemen, the GWO Safety and Training Awards 2021 are about to begin. Please take your seat and welcome Jakob Lauholst, CEO of Global Wind Organization. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. A very warm welcome to all of you. My name is Jakob Lauholst. I am the CEO of Global Wind Organization. And as you know, the mission of the Global Wind Organization is to strive for an injury-free work environment for wind technicians in the global wind industry everywhere. We created uh, the GWO Safety and Training Awards to shine a light on the important role of instructors. We want to bring greater awareness and recognition of the important work that you guys do for the industry and for the safety of a growing global wind for workforce. Before 2025, and you have heard the numbers uh, around in the halls here, there's a lot of growth ahead of us. We will need to approximately onboard a further 500,000 wind technicians across all of the active markets. A huge challenge for all of us. I hope that a large share of those people will meet a GWO instructor who aspires to be great at your work. Safety instructors hold great responsibility. It's like Spider-Man's uh, stepfather says, with great responsibility, or with great powers comes great responsibility. So for many of those young and aspiring new wind technicians, you will be the first role model that they meet in the wind industry. There's a lot they need to know to stay safe. Your attitude to safety will rub off. And for the more experienced technicians, your role is perhaps slightly different to relate the course material to the skills that they already have and to reinforce and refresh existing safety skills and abilities. But for them too, your attitude will rub off. So great instructors teach, inspire, and empower. So my first thank you from the stage today is to all of the GWO instructors at all of our 440 training locations in 50 countries and territories where one can source a GWO course. Thank you for you, your work and your dedication. All of you have my gratitude and my respect and you will be super busy in the years to come. Next, thank you to everyone who has submitted an entry to the GWO Safety Awards. We have had 80 entries submitted. That's quite impressive, given a training uh, um, that we have 440 training providers. So 80 have entered uh, an entry here. It means that you have an ambition to be bet better at what you do and to be the best you can be. So thank you for that. Thank you to all of you present. Some of you have traveled far. We have people from Taiwan, we have someone from Brazil, we have people from all over Europe. It's an honor and, and I'm very grateful that you have traveled so far. Thank you also to the judging panel who has reviewed all of those entries and scrutinized in, in, in detail and found uh, several worthy of mention and we have nine awards to bring to you today. So we will in course of the next hour or so learn who are the finalists and who are the winners. And to take us through all of that, I give you GWO's very own Director for Global Development and Stakeholder Relations and our Global Comms Lead, Mr. and drum rolls and clap and hands and all that, <laughs> Mr. Ralph Savage and Ms. Nina Kirk. Thank you, Jakob, for the introduction. Welcome, everybody, to the GWO Safety and Training Awards 2021. I'm Ralph Savage. And I am Nina Kirk. And um, I can tell you, we are really excited about standing here today. Um, we are going to have an awesome 90 minutes ahead of us. Uh, we have a great program for you guys today. And also, there are people probably sitting at home as we are live streaming. So I can tell you, this would be a great 
day, as this is actually also the first time we're doing a Global Win Organization Safety and Training Award show. Um, standing here today, I can tell you I'm excited, but Ralph, you've been a part of this since the very first beginning. So how does it actually feel for you standing here today? You must feel like a winner. It's, it's really, really exciting. I'm really, really pleased to be here. I'm really, really delighted that so many of you have come, so many of you have traveled here, and that we've got this first awards ceremony off the ground. So I hope it lives up to your expectations. So um, we're going to turn to the main event. Uh, we've got nine categories, as Jakob explained, and 27 companies uh, and individuals waiting to hear if they're a winner. Um, before we jump in, I want to give you a quick background on how we got to uh, this point. In 2020, uh, around about July, August last year, um, a group of GWO members and the Secretariat got together uh, to create a, a system where we, as Jakob explained, recognize and, and uh, give, show some appreciation to the training provider network who, uh, who deliver safety training and, and, and help create a safer and more productive workforce. Um, the result was uh, our main category group of uh, training team of the year and two individual awards. Yeah, as you mentioned, Ralph, we got seven categories today for training team of the year covering every region. Uh, of the world and every size and shape of training providers. Besides that, we actually have two awards for individuals, and these are really interesting categories, I can tell you. This is a Young Achiever Award, um, and also we have a special one where the judges, there is no nominees in this category, the judges, they themselves have singled out one person, one individual, that will be recognized through the Achievement Award. That's right, all, re re all will be revealed shortly. Um, our finalists uh, in the teams category, uh, which is seven out of the nine, uh, have to be given a high score by the judges uh, in five criteria. Uh, they submitted their entries uh, according to these five criteria, which are innovation, how innovative they are in delivering their safety training. Obviously, it's a standard, but innovation is really important. Safety and fidelity, which is uh, the lifelike scenarios, for example, that they create in delivering training, but also keeping people safe at the same time. Uh, their contribution to the industry, in some cases, that's working with local charities and, and workforce development, but also supporting us at GWO in making the training standards work better uh, for the people who, who complete the courses. Um, also, their continuous improvement programs, how they keep their instructors' skills up to scratch. And finally, inclusivity, and this is uh, an interesting one which is focused on how uh, they make sure that the differences that uh, we all see in each other are accommodated when you're delivering a standard training course so that everybody goes out having achieved the same learning objectives. There are five finalists in each category, uh, and in each case, we'll be inviting three of you on stage today. Uh, there, of course, can be only one winner, um, but the judges have also chosen to create a highly commended uh, prize uh, to recognize those who were close. Um, and uh, the truth is, just getting to the, the final five is, is really worthy of praise. So nobody's going to leave here empty-handed. Uh, we're going to be providing finalist uh, certificates and our eternal gratitude to everybody who, who entered. Um, so um, now I think we're ready to move into our, next, our first award category, right? Yeah, it's pretty exciting, I can tell you. Um, standing here today, I feel proud, almost like a winner, even though I feel like I might not be getting an award. I got a mic, at least. <laughs> so uh, for you in the back, feel free to join us up at the front row. I can tell I you there are goodie bags up here, so feel free to jump in, take a seat. Uh, we have something that's coming up, and I can tell you that is the training team of the year, newcomer of the year. And as most of you will know, the DWO network has grown fast. And these awards aim to reflect the huge diversity that the, that the DWO network has to offer. Um, during this year alone, more than 70 new ones have certified in 26 different countries. That's something I would say. These newcomers, the new ones in our organization, they provide essential new capacity to our network, often in places, places where the wind industry is just beginning to emerge. Our first award is to 
celebrate them, and it's all about them. So what I think we should do is find a bit more, out a bit more about these ones. So what I have to say is just roll the tape. Newcomer of the year. Since 2012, more than 400 training providers have been certified to the GWO standard in almost 50 countries. They teach essential skills, knowledge and abilities for the wind energy workforce. With COP26 just behind us, the scale of the task is clear. To deliver a global 500 gigawatt network of wind power installations, the industry needs up to half a million trained technicians by 2025. New GWO training providers are helping to meet this goal because safety is for everyone. So the finalists in the Newcomer of the Year category are all training providers who have certified since the beginning of 2019. As Nina explained, lots of them are uh, located in new and emerging wind markets. And the judges were really, really impressed by the standard of entries uh, that were submitted to us. Um, so I'm going to announce the nominees. Uh, for Training Team of the Year newcomer are Fire Safety Australia, the Maritime Technology Innovation Centre from Kaohsiung City in Taiwan, Maersk Training in the Humber from the United Kingdom, Task Academy from Natal Rio Grande do Norte in Brazil, and Vestas from the port of Lindu in Denmark. Uh, with each category, we're going to uh, begin with the two highly commended entrants. So Nina, can you tell us who they are, please? I can, Ralph. The two highly commended entrants are Vestas and MTIC. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Unfortunately, MTIC weren't able to join us today, but from Vestas, we actually have two guys joining us, and you may come on stage. Vesta's safety instructors, Bjarke Thompson and Troel Jørgensen. Please come on stage. Congratulations. Congratulations. So I guess you guys hold flowers every day, right? <laughs> Thank you. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. So now, to present the winner's award, I'd like to invite Jakob to uh, open the first envelope. Oh, it's very exciting. So I've not been part of this, so I don't know what's in here. And the winner is Math Training in the Humber from the UK. And to receive the prize, I think it's uh, Stuart Morris. Or, oh, we yeah. did have Stuart. I think we've got up on this side, please. Oh. <laughs> Safety oh. first. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. So if you could just... Thank you very much. Yeah, I definitely want to say congratulations in general today to all of our finalists. Um, and our next award is Training Team of the Year Americas. With the wind power markets expanding rapidly, the Americas region is actually also a fast-growing part of the GWO network. We received entries in this category from across North, South and Central America, and our judges, they have chosen five finalists whose entries set apart from the rest. So let's have a quick introduction to the region and some of the recent de developments. Training Team of the Year, Americas. GWO training providers in the Americas have delivered 50,000 courses so far in 2021. 
the workforce of GWO trained technicians in North, South and Central America is now over 20,000 people. In North America, GWO has taken steps to help stakeholders directly, making sure they have the right support and guidance to provide industry standard training. Brazil has become the fastest growing network in the world, adding nine new training providers in 2021, helping to build a GWO trained workforce of close to 7,000 people. So once again, this was a really close category, as many of them were, and the judges were really impressed with the uh, commitment to deliver a really great learning experience that all of the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the finalists uh, provided to us. So I'll announce the nominees for training team, in, uh, training team of the Year in the Americas. They are Mask Training in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Salvason X, uh, SC from Mexico, Task Academy in Natal, Rio Grande, Brazil, uh, Task Academy in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Team One Academy from Canada. So once again, we first announced the two highly commended, and the winners here are Salvacon SC Mexico and Task Academy in Natal, Rio Grande, Brazil. So please join us on stage from Task Academy, Ricardo, President and Founder, and Tom Soros, Project General Director. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Now you guys I know are going to be comfortable with the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. So, uh, unfortunately, Salvason were unable to attend uh, today. Um, but uh, now to present the winner of the training team of the year, America's region, I would like to ask Jakob to open the next envelope. Okay. And I have actually done so. I've just cheated a little bit. Okay. And the winner is for training team of the year for Americas, Mask Training Brazil. And I think the Kaylee uh, Eager Ega is here to receive. You're going to have to get used to being up here. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Thank you, everyone. Okay. And once again, every finalist will receive a certificate and won't leave empty-handed. We still have a lot to go through, and that's why we will move on swiftly to our next regional category, Training Team of the Year, Asia and Pacific. Thank you, Nina. Uh, so the Asia-Pacific countries, as many of us know, have a massive strategic role to play in the development of wind power. Some of the fastest growing offshore industries uh, are located, uh, and the onshore industries in India and China themselves dwarf many of the others around the world. Uh, and uh, for GWO training, employers across Asia Pacific count on a workforce of m almost 20,000 technicians today. And they're taught to industry standards in a market that's growing at 50% every year. Yeah, and standing here today, I would say one of the greatest things about all of these categories is actually to see how many of you guys made the trip to join us here to com in Copenhagen in Bella Center. Nonetheless, also, actually, the guys from Brazilian, Brazil uh, being highly commended. This is a true honor uh, receiving you today. Um, before we announce the finalists, you deserve the opportunity to hear a bit more from a couple of our members and what they have to say, what they had to say about the award show in general. So take a listen. A 
as being part of the uh, GWO uh, committee, I have of course uh, been following along uh, everything that's going on. And I think that it's important that we recognize all of the hard work that is going into the everyday delivery of uh, safety training from our uh, certified uh, training suppliers. I interact a lot with training providers and it's a, a group of people where you meet um, a lot of passion, huge amount of experience and to have something that allows those people to demonstrate that um, and get public recognition for it in the industry setting is, is fantastic. It's important to the industry, it's important to uh, the different companies that we can trust the delivery, the quality of the delivery from these training suppliers. I really hope that trainers see that opportunity to get the, the recognition they deserve for, for showing they're the best at what they do. So, the judges chose five training providers from three different countries as finalists in this category. They are Taiwan International Wind Power Training Corporation, MTIC, Fire and Safety Australia, Canberra Institute of Technology, and Eduforce India. Yes, that's right. And the two highly commended entrants in this category, they are MTIC and Eduforce India. Let's give them a hand. Unfortunately, as you can probably understand, they were unable to attend today. So we will make sure that they receive their uh, awards in as quickly as possible. By mail, I yeah. guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. However, we can move on to the winner. The winner, please, Jacob. Yeah, I'll open now. And the winner is Ramo Canberra Institute of Technology from Australia. And to collect the award on behalf of Canberra Institute of Technology, we have Anna Freeman from the uh, Clean Power Institute in Australia. Welcome. Congratulations to all of you. Moving on to our final regional award category. This one is for Trading Team of the Year, Europe and Africa. It is indeed. Obviously, this uh, regional grouping is very competitive. We received 50 submissions from companies within this regional group. The judges were really impressed uh, with the quality of the submissions. Um, their scores created a group of finalists from four different countries and a diverse group of businesses. Yeah, the judging panel actually read through more than 20 submissions each and provided lots of good feedback on what they liked about, what they actually liked about these entries. Remember, you had, as Ralph mentioned previously, you had to score highly in all five criteria. Uh, but the feedback he shows that the judges carefully read through all of the submissions and I think we should take a look at what their final comments and feedback were on these specific uh, submissions in this category. So take a look. Training team of the year, Europe, Africa. The GWO Safety and Training Awards judging panel reviewed over 80 submissions from which they scored and selected the category shortlists. Here are some of their reflections. Even though this was the first one I read, I felt it was setting a high bar for the rest. I am impressed with their thoughtfulness and insight. This team seems very dedicated as to how they deliver the training and take their customers' needs into consideration. They advance the participant's skill not only by adhering to training standards, but also by orientating themselves in a realistic, real-life environment to ensure the training meets the actual working conditions of the participants. This submission shows the training provider has invested significantly in their product. They are obviously doing something right. Okay, so let's get right to it and remind you who the finalists in the Europe-Africa region are. Tessignor, AIS Survivex, Rely on Newtech, who entered jointly on behalf of their group, uh, 
trauma and resuscitation services from the United Kingdom, and finally, Mira Rope Access from Turkey. And once again, first we announce the two highly commended entrants, and they are Tesigno and Rely on New Tech. And to pick up the awards or the certificates, we have Torben Haring from Rely on New Tech. And from Tesigno, we have Alfonso. Let me. Tell this is not Alfonso. Okay, I can't announce his name. <laughs> I should have practiced more, huh? Come in here. Congratulations, sir. Come over here. You look, these look good on you, Torben. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Let's give them a hand. Big congratulations to both of you. Now, Jakob, it's your turn again. It's my turn again. And the winner is AIS Survivex from the UK. And to collect the award, please welcome Alison Isbister, Head of Renewables. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 So, I really think that we can say already this is great stuff going on. Um, this is the first time, but um, we are pretty excited. We want to move on to the final group of category based, that's category based, and it's based on the number of uploads in Winda. So Winda is the wind industry database based containing all of global wind organization training records. It is indeed. Uh, when our judging panel considered uh, how we developed the training team of the year category, we knew that diversity was a really important thing to focus on. We wanted to celebrate large, small, local and remote. All with an equal chance actually impressing, to impress the judging panel. So let's take a quick look at this category. Training team of the year, zero to 500 window uploads. The key success factors for any global standard are quality assurance and accessibility. That's why the commitment made by training providers, large or small, deserves equal credit. It is thanks to the presence of more than 230 training providers delivering up to 500 courses a year, often in new and emerging markets, that GWO standards are increasingly accessible. Each of these companies teaches up to 150 technicians every year, providing essential safety training capacity for the industry. Today, we're also saying thank you to them because safety is for everyone. Excellent. So now we reveal the finalists for training team of the year in the category zero to 500 window uploads. The finalists are as follows. Maersk Training Brazil, Trauma and Resuscitation Services from the United Kingdom, uh, Canberra Institute of Technology from Australia uh, and MERS Training in the Humber. Oh, sorry, one more. And MRS Training and Rescue from the United Kingdom. So first, the two highly commended entrants, and they are both from the UK, so you might guess. It's MERS Training and Trauma and Resuscitation. <laughs> to collect the award, we have Stuart Morris. Learning Operation Manager from the Northern Region, and Adam Barrett, Director of Finance. Adam. Congratulations. Is this the wrong one? <laughs> Don't want to give you the wrong one, mate. <laughs> so you could just stand closer to that. Once again. 
come over here. So, Jakob, I think you have uh, an envelope with number five. I have, I'm getting the drift of this, yes. Yeah. And the winner in the training team of the year, up to 500 uploads, is Canberra Institute of Technology in Australia. We've already met you before, Anna. Please join us again at the stage. So. Now, I know you're only traveling back to Italy, but I hope your luggage allowance is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So we now have two more prizes in the category Training Team of the Year to give out. The next one is for companies uploading 500 to 1500 window uploads. Um, and let's have a look. Training team of the year, 500 to 1500 window uploads. Today there are 82 GWO training providers who deliver between 500 and 1500 courses each year. In most cases, they provide basic safety training plus a growing catalogue of standards from advanced rescue and enhanced first aid to blade repair and the new lift training which launched in 2021. Every new course is meticulously prepared, delivered and quality assured so that technicians learn what they need to do to mitigate risks and hazards each day before returning home to their families. So, uh, the finalists for the GWO Safety and Training Award Training Team of the Year, uh, uploading between 500 and 1500 records every year are Eduforce India, Mira Rope Access from Turkey, Fire and Safety Australia, Advanced Blade, Re uh, Blade Repair Services from the United Kingdom, and SP Wind from Port Elizabeth in South Africa. So, the two highly commended. They are SP Wind from South Africa and Eduforce from India. As you know, Eduforce weren't able to join us today, but to collect, we have Amy Taylor on behalf of SP Wind. Give her a hand. Okay, Mr. Holst. Yeah. And the winner of this category is Mira Rope Access from Turkey. And Mira, if you're looking at home. Yeah, here we it hope is. that you're watching us online. Because I understand Mira Rope Access are not coming here today. They unfortunately weren't able to join us. But don't hold it too much. We'll make sure that they'll get it. Yeah, good. Thank you. So now we come, we are at this point where we actually are having the final category training team of the year with more than 1,500 window records uploads each year. Thank you, Nina. Uh, there are 32 companies in this category. Uh, together they deliver more than 100,000 GWO courses a year uh, from sites across the world. Yeah, you already met a few of them uh, in other uh, categories, and we are actually really grateful to have so many of you represented here today. I would say, before we go on, let's hear a bit more about what this conference actually has had to offer. I hope you have enjoyed it so far, enjoying yourself right now. Uh, this time, we actually also sent a photographer out asking people 
what the conference actually felt like, a bit about the award show. So let's have a listen on what people had to say. Well, the conference is, uh, is wonderful. So far, uh, so good. There's a really a lot of good uh, exhibitors here and a lot of interesting things. Although we are in the middle of a pandemic, in a pandemic crisis. Uh, it's, it's a really exciting conference and it's great to be back actually in person at uh, a proper conference where people can talk to each other face to face. It's just been so good to see everybody again. It's really nice to be physical present again, to meet people face to face and have the interaction. And Once again, we demonstrate that the wind industry can continue working uh, even we have uh, this kind of crisis. It's also really good to be part of a GWO uh, and to be a demonstration partner. We're fully supportive of what GWO does because we think it drives forward competency as opposed to just standard training. So it's great to be part of that, yes. Very cool. So now it's time to reveal the finalists in the training team of the year for sites uploading more than 1,500 records annually. They are Rely on Newtech, Tessignore, Mask Training UK, AIS Survivex, and finally Task Academy from Natal Rio Grande do Norte in Brazil. So first, once again, the two highly commended winners, and they are in this category, Tessignore and Rely on Newtech. Please welcome again on stage, Torben Haring, CEO, and we have from Tesigno Alfonso. Give them a round of applause. Please join us on the stage. So this category is the backbone of, of the delivery of training for all of those people around the world. And I think all of them should have, and everyone here should have a prize. And I think everyone will get a prize. I just feel really bad there's only one winner here. Yeah. Well, I could say, as Ralph mentioned, it's actually something just to make it to the shortlist. So for everyone, having that, made that, okay. well, it's something. Let's see. let's see who it is. And the winner is AIS Survivex from the UK. Congratulations. Let's just make sure that everyone is thanked and really let's celebrate all of us together tonight, today. Um, this is actually the end of our training team awards program. However, we still have two awards to hand out. And I'm really looking forward to this one, uh, especially the next one coming up. Indeed. Next presentations for individuals. Uh, in the Young Achiever category. Uh, in an industry growing as fast as this, I think we can all appreciate, if we have recruitment challenges, it's so important that we help recognize and nurture young individual talent. So in this category, all of our finalists are people age 30 or below. They have, I might say, blown us away with their talent, with their skills, and their abilities to deliver training beyond the expected. They are both managers, many are instructors, and potentially all are instructors, I guess, right? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but many of them might be future leaders. I'm wowed, um, and I think they deserve for all of you to hear a bit more about 
how they feel about being instructors. So we actually got interviews from all of them. So take a listen. WO Young Achiever Award. Wind safety is important to me because, like I said before, I haven't been in the industry. You know, I know how many hazards there are. Damit wir als Team sicherstellen können, dass alle Mitarbeiter in der On- und Offshore-Industrie sicher nach Hause kommen. Anybody working in the wind industry, they deserve to have the same level of respect when it comes to health and safety. I would like the people in the industry to be as safe as possible. Less accidents, less injuries. You know, we always want that number to be zero. I am glad that my story and my experience has been noticed by Global Wind Organization. It's truly honored and proud to be one of the finalists of Young Achiever Award. This not only represents my hard work and our companies, but also means that we have more responsibility to make this industry safer. No matter how old I get or, or how much training or experience I have under my belt, I'm never going to stop learning. And that's the same mindset I want to bestow upon individuals that take my class. It also gives you a great feeling that this job is important for everyone for society, economy and the environment. Dass der GWO das aufgreift, ist umso beeindruckender und zeigt uns, dass unsere Arbeit wertgeschätzt wird und wir tatsächlich etwas verändern können. This goes to show that whatever I'm doing is, is working. A really cool bunch of people, I think you will agree. Um, you've seen all of their faces, but for the record, we'll list their names and where they're from in the GWO Safety and Training Award Young Achiever of the Year category. First off is Emerson Connor from Team One Academy in Canada. Thomas Yu from Taiwan International Wind Power Training Corporation. Andy Scorfield from AIS Survivex. Catalina, and forgive me, Jester Batska uh, from Wind Hunter Academy in Poland. And Jan Mulstedt from Relan Nutec in Germany. First, I am proud to announce the two highly commended. And the winners are Thomas Yu, instructor from Taiwan International Wind Power Training Corporation, and Emerson Connor from Team One Academy in Canada. Give them a hand. Thanks so much. Congratulations. So Emerson was unable to make the trip, as you can tell, so you get to have the stage all to yourself, Thomas. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. So Jakob, do you want to say a few words and then open the envelope? Yeah, what should I say? I mean, I'm incredibly proud of all of those young, young achievers here. Uh, that we have them in our network and that we are able to provide uh, such um, fulfilling jobs in this industry. That's, uh, that's great. And, and just to feel the enthusiasm. Yeah, good vibes. Uh, and Thomas, thank you for traveling so far. That's fantastic. Great to meet you. And the winner of this category for Young Achiever of the Year is... Oh, you did this on purpose. <laughs> Karolina Jastrzewska from Wind Hunter Academy in Poland. Unfortunately, Karolina wasn't able to join us today, but obviously we will make sure that she will be getting the award. But on her behalf, you are picking up the award. Thank you so much. Peter Madeira. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Congratulations, obviously, to Carolina and all of the shortlist winners, I would say, in this category. It's something special. Uh, now to our final category, our final award for this year's Safety and Training Award Show. This, is, this one is a little bit different from all of the other categories. There weren't any shortlist. This one is something where the judges, they themselves have singled out one person whose contribution is something special throughout several years. Um, 
So I think what we should do is that you have something to say. I probably do have something to say, but first up, I think we have a little warm up from uh, some of this individual's uh, friends and colleagues just to uh, give you a hint. Um, so can we roll the tape? The GWO Achievement Award. I think he deserves this award because if anyone has brought safety on the agenda of the industry and if anyone has addressed capability building, it's really him. He has always been a uh, big inspirator for us. He believed in the project when everyone said to us it couldn't be done. Uh, he trusted in us. He empowered us and uh, then we took ownership and by then, uh, we actually are here today uh, with this great success. He knew well in advance of many of us what the global safety challenge would be for our industry. And he has dedicated himself to tackle these challenges to the benefit of us all. Sound like a true leader. Yeah, exactly, a true leader. So to present the Achievement Award, Jakob is going to give a little bit of a uh, yeah. explanation. So. I was not involved in any way in that divorce process, just, but I can't think of anyone more appropriate for DWO's first ever achievement award. And I'd like the winner to come up on stage and then I'll give you a speech. So um, the winner of the GWO Safety and Training Awards Achievement Award is Klaus Rose. Let's give him a hand. Um, Klaus, I'm just going to hold on to this a little bit before I give you the trophy. A few words. But you can hold the flowers. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well, the nomination reads like this. Klaus Rosa has played a decisive role in the safety of wind energy workforce for many years. A well-known name for his safety leadership at companies such as GE Renewable Energy and Siemens Gamesa Renewable Energy. Klaus was part of the group of professionals who founded the Global Wind Organization in 2012 and starting the work actually in 2011. Under his leadership, Klaus was a chair until 2018 and GWO evolved into the professional global standards body we see today. With a system of standards created for the industry, by the industry, and a robust scalable governance platform that's managed online in Winda. So put simply, Klaus's support for and leadership of GWO laid the ground for the organization's long-term success. And all of this is true. These days, Klaus is like a gray eminence, pulling the string from the behind. And many of you know Klaus well. Aside from his professional achievements, you may even have heard that his hobbies are driving tanks and big blue BMWs, no, sorry, Alpinas, sorry. Yeah, Alpinas. Um, and perhaps you've heard the rumors that he occasionally brings his Doberman to the office when he needs to motivate a particularly difficult uh, employee. For me, you have been somewhat of a mentor. You brought me into this position and I have only met the Doberman once. Um, you've always been supportive and even if you're no longer the chair of DWO, I still call you from time to time to get sound and constructive advice, and you always give. So for that, thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you deserve this recognition. Can you have the photo? I got all misty eyes here. Yeah. Klaus, we've asked you to say a little bit, a couple of words. Could you give uh, your, you want to have a microphone here? Please? Yes, so okay. watch it. Okay. Don't fall down, Jakob. So uh, thanks, everybody. Um, really, really appreciate it. And the thing that Jakob mentioned is almost true. I just want to correct you. Don't forget that the GWO actually started back in 2009 as a uh, stupid idea. And it was actually a stupid idea with five individuals that was driven by a training provider. And then the task at hand, we decided to kind of create a standard that was out in February 2012. So 
it's an amazing achievement. Um, and I'm really proud of what I see today, uh, thanks to the team that we have here in GWO. But more importantly, all of those training providers, all of those companies that are supporting it, without you, this wouldn't have been possible. And let's not forget, as long as we do this, we control our own destiny. If we don't do this, somebody is going to tell us how to do it. So we need to be very, very mindful of that. It's our chance to do the right thing. And then this cannot be something that is a competitive advantage. We need to make sure that we share, we agree for the benefit of the people out on the shop end. Because if they don't do a good enough job, regardless of what we are trying to do, it doesn't matter. So keep that in mind. And then I will say a couple of things around the Doberman. It is actually true. Um, Jakob has only met him once. Uh, he's actually very nice. And, and I'll give you a story to kind of tell you uh, how people actually found him very scary. Um, I was having a uh, customer meeting with a guy from China. Um, and I brought my dog in the office. And he was very used to the fact that I'm in the office, he just went under the table and then relaxed. And then we were talking, and then all of a sudden he started moaning and then stood halfway up, and I looked at the dog, and I looked across me, and then the guy was outside the door. Um, and he was really frightened from any dog. So I told him very calmly, he doesn't do anything, he's a very gentle dog. And we continued the conversation for about two minutes, and then we agreed that we needed to go out, because it was impossible for him to concentrate whatsoever. So he's actually a very good dog. It's not about kind of motivating people, but it's actually providing a positive spirit. So that's what it's all about. So thank you. Thanks to Jakob. Thanks to the team. And thanks to all of you on Global Wind for this. I'm really proud. Thank you.